Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for us to explore another campground. We're set up here at Potato Hill South on Sardis Lake. Before we get into this adventure at Sardis Lake up in Oklahoma, click on that subscribe button down there. That'll really help me out. Thank you. Look at this beautiful campsite. This is campsite number 14. There's only 14 campsites. No, maybe 15. Anyway, there's no power. There is water across the street and there's no showers. There's vault toilets. But look at what we have. We've got a pretty level pad We've got a concrete picnic table with a bench that has seen better days and another bench that's seen better days. We got a fire pit. The ubiquitous lantern hook. We finally found one. A cooking table that's kind of rotting away and a charcoal cooker with garbage in it. We're so blessed. This is a really cool place though. Well, let's jump on a little red. We'll go see some stuff. I gave you bad info. I said there was only 15 campsites, but that's number 18. I don't want you to have bad info. There's no showers here. Did I tell you that? Yes, I did tell you that. I've been talking to myself all day. I, I, so much today I have for, forgotten what I've told myself. <laughs> this is Bigfoot country. Maybe, maybe we'll have a sighting. No, you'll see the question is, would you consider that getting lucky or would you consider that a bad thing? Post in the comments below is seeing a, a nine, 10 foot tall, hairy creature with feet. They're huge. If that would be a scary thing or a lucky thing, I'm undecided. All right. Let's go see some, let's go see some Potato Hill stuff. One of the things that really sets Potato Hill South apart from anything I've seen on this trip so far is that right there. Man, that is some kind of beach. That is a bona fide beach. Volleyball nets, picnic tables, during the summer when it's not a drought, you've got shade. And up here at this pavilion, I bet this place is hopping during the summer. There's an air point, place to air up the tires on your bicycle. And I'm just wondering, the campground doesn't have any showers. I wonder if there's any showers here. Nope. Uh, well, no, no showers, like maybe, I don't know, I guess you're not supposed to get clean when you're here, you cannot get clean when you're dirty, camping here, all right, let's go see something else, so if you have a a group of people, a family that's looking to have a gathering here at Sardis Lake, Potato Hill South. They have two shelters. This is the one on the hill. Big old cooker. Uh, I think it's it's kind of fascinating that of all, all these group shelters I've seen today have the traditional foods billboard and then the traditional games which we'll see that over here and there's the traditional games board i don't know kind of interesting 
But the kids will be happy to know that there's a play structure that's got their name written on it somewhere. It's really small. They gotta, they gotta look real hard, but it's there. Get right down on it. <laughs> All right, let's go see some more stuff. Someone put a lot of effort into building this sidewalk, so we need to take advantage of it. See if we can get all the way to the other end. There's a shower. Be a bit cold for that one though. I'd like a hot shower. Good thing I have a RV with a hot shower. Uh oh, we're getting into some sand. And there's a big, big pile right up here. We made it. Spun out a little bit, not too bad. Oh, looky there. Another group shelter. Man. So here's the other group shelter at Potato Hills South. There's actually a, uh, there are horseshoe pits at both group shelters. And there's also a play structure at this group shelter. And they've got the traditional games billboard. All right. Let's go see some geese. We probably can't get very close to the geese. They're right out there. I don't know if those are migrating or if they're just permanent residents. Maybe they're like the Canadians that moved into my neighborhood that decided that it was better to be in the South than in Canada. I don't know. All right. We'll go see some more stuff. So I have discovered something that'll make my boat ramp fans very happy a boat ramp with a courtesy dock and it opens up right out onto the lake proper so on a day like today when the wind is blowing out of the north it'll be fun loading your boat all right let's go get out of the wind Let's go see something out of the wind. Sardis Lake is full of fish and you don't have to have a boat to catch them. Here at Potato Hill South, you have a floating fish barge. This is a big metal, <laughs> Big metal construction. What's interesting is we were at Potato Hill Central earlier today and that barge was actually sitting on the bottom. This one's fully afloat. Man, what a view for fishing. That is incredible. And it's out of the wind. All right. Time to, time to go get something to eat. And the battery's about dead. Let's go see some more stuff. If you're planning a visit to Sardis Lake, make sure you plan on visiting the Sardis Pier. And you can learn about a rolled earth, a Yachtnead Dam. This is actually on the dam. We're going to go down below the dam shortly. It looks like at one time they had restrooms. 
but no more. So if you got to go, this is not the place. This is one of the, I've been to a lot of lakes here in the last 10 years. I think this is the first and only time I've ever been able to walk out all the way to the, to the lake outlet. It's not the spillway. The spillway is over there. This is where the river continues on down the flow. Uh, Sardis Lake was constructed mainly for flood control purposes. Little ditch. Man, those houses up there, you probably can't see them. They're probably so small. There's houses on the side of that hill or mountain or whatever you call it that'd be a great airbnb location all right let's go see some more stuff so my boat ramp fans are are finally gonna be happy Ooh. gotta be careful <laughs> there's a lot of broken planks on this courtesy doc so my boat ramp fans are gonna be happy because i have found a boat ramp in a campground on Sardis Lake. Now recreation, recreation.gov shows that there's three campgrounds on Sardis Lake. Potato Hill Central, Potato Hill South, and Sardis Cove. And then there's two other day use locations. There may be boat ramps there. Sardis Cove has a big boat ramp with a courtesy dock that is a float so apparently this is a deep water cove just just know that some of these planks are look like they're about to break step carefully step lively i say there's not a whole lot of stuff here at sardis cove they have a boat ramp. That seems to be their claim to fame. All right. Let's go see some more stuff. Sardis Lake. Well, there's that dam that we were seeing the signage for. Sardis Lake hosts a number of fish species of walleye Spotted bass, white bass, or sand bass, largemouth, perch, crappie, catfish. And here at the outflow to the dam, check this out. They've got a wheelchair accessible ramp. Big pipe with water. And the water's too cloudy to be able to see anything of note. Be kind of hard to fish. It's kind of weird how they have this laid out because if you catch a fish, you gotta drag it up the rock slope there. Anyway, looks like it might be a good place to go fishing if you're if you're visiting Sardis Lake. Good morning from Potato Hill South. And a wind kicked up yesterday evening late and it died off as when we went to bed, but it's back in force this morning and it is 
quite chilly. I've had to put on blue jeans and a jacket. Winter is arriving. I have a freeze warning for tonight, which kind of adds to the, the mystique of camping in Oklahoma. Let's talk about Potato Hill South. So our visit, our, our one night stay here was relatively uneventful, except we had uh, this morning when I woke up about five o'clock, it was a flashlight. This, this, there's a car up there, not sure if you can see it. Person was trying to light up in the trees and I don't know, it's kind of kind of odd, but it turns out he was doing night lapse photography. Okay. So our visit to Potato Hill South was it was nice. Uh, you know, we didn't need any electricity. The, the generator kept the batteries up. Uh, we slept good. There is some highway noise right up that way uh, but other than that man it was after the wind died off last night it was totally quiet super dark it's a great place for which is why he's out here it's a great place for photography starlight photography yeah this and this is this would be a great waypoint stop which is kind of what it turned out to be for us because we're headed south Great place to spend the night. Just don't expect to take a hot shower unless you have that with you. The vault toilets are, are as clean as vault toilets can be. I was very impressed with the day use facility here. Unlike the other two campgrounds on Sardis Lake, uh, this day use facility, they have a day use facility here and it is, it is really nice. I was, was quite impressed. The Potato Hills North Campground is a, uh, if you need electricity, that's the place that you're going to want to, you are going to want to camp. I didn't find the campsites there to be any better than the campsites here, although many of them were paved. Now the Sardis Cove had some more level sites, but there were not very many of them. Uh, and it, I don't know, that campground didn't seem to be as pretty as this campground. So, as long as you don't need electricity. But Potato Hill South is a great campground. Waypoint and destination. If we were not moving on south, this would be a great place to put a hook in the water. I gotta shoot more video for y'all. I don't get to hang out. I, I got a job to do. Speaking of that job, part of that job is encouraging you to subscribe. So if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, I certainly appreciate it. That's why I get to do what I do. That's why I get to come out here and see this cool stuff. I mean, Thank you for that opportunity. And for my patrons, I am most grateful. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?